what's up guys welcome back to my channel today's video is a video on self-care um i want to do this video because i am entering back into ttc mode officially um if you guys have seen my last video then you know i got cleared from my doctor after my hysteroscopy so yeah i'm excited about trying to conceive but I know that trying to conceive can be stressful. We have been on our journey almost three years now. It'll be three years in September. And um, yeah, I just wanted to share some of the ways that I practice self-care, ways that I have learned, especially in the last year since I've had a miscarriage, ways that I've learned to de-stress, things that have kept me sane throughout this whole process. So I just wanted to share with you guys the tips that I have, things that I have found helpful, things that have helped me get on through and get over those humps. So let's just get right into it. So my first tip for self-care is meditation and prayer. So I've designated a place in my beauty room where I can practice my meditation um, and I can also sit there and take time to pray and that's what I do there. I have a nice little comfortable meditation pillow. My back is facing everything else. The window is always open and um, yeah I sit and I meditate in the mornings. I pray in the mornings and I just I like to take a moment for gratitude I like to take a moment to let all thoughts just leave me or just allow my thoughts to come freely in and out of my mind without holding on to anything um, I have been working with the headspace app meditation has been one of those things that um, I have been practicing it because it is very hard to do um, I started out at working in small time frames um, I started with five minutes then work my way up to 10 minutes and 15 and now I'm at a 20 minute meditation uh, with no problems so tip number two is uh, fitness uh, fitness working out being active walking I think getting out and moving and listening to some music during your workouts and stuff helps get you through for me i like to do yoga i do like to work out too um, but i haven't been working out as much as i would like to lately um, but there's a community center in my neighborhood that offers um, donation based yoga classes and i've been doing those and i also practice at home i'm not as good as i used to be with yoga so i'm trying to build myself back up to it um, but yoga is something that I found very helpful. It's one of those workouts where I really just let my thoughts go. I focus on my breathing techniques and my positions, making sure my body is angled the correct way. Um, yeah, yoga is one of those things to really just get your mind off of things. Yeah, yoga is one of my favorite things to do. I recommend it to anyone. Yoga is a good workout like you start to work everything I'm always getting a good sweat and everything and I feel good after I'm ready for the day I make healthier choices and yeah yoga is just awesome so tip number three is reading I am big on reading I enjoy reading books I have gotten into in the last month audiobooks I downloaded audible this is not a sponsored video I downloaded audible the first book I listened to was the mother of black Hollywood by Jennifer Lewis her memoir and it's awesome because she narrates it and it's just full of life I loved it the audiobook that I'm listening to right now is Welcome to Lagos by Chibundu Onuzo. I hope I'm not butchering her name. I'm sure I am. But this is what the cover looks like. If it focuses. There you go. This is what the cover of the book looks like that I'm reading right now. So far, so good. I am on chapter 13. And yeah, I wanted to go a different route for books. I try to balance out my reading. So I like to read memoirs. I like to read self-help books. And I love a good 
fiction novel because for a while I just read self-help books only and yeah I forgot how lost you can get in a good novel. I love making up my own conclusions and waiting to see how things unfold. It's just so much happening. It takes your mind to another place. A good story will take your mind completely off of trying to conceive and it is the best stress reliever. If you're not big on reading, picking up a book and reading, please think about downloading Audible or some other streaming service that might have audiobooks. Listen, when I tell you my mind just goes off into story fairy tale land, it is the best thing to escape from your reality sometime, especially if you've gotten bad news, if you've gotten a negative pregnancy test. Sometimes you just need something to get your mind off of it. And so audiobooks and reading is a good option to just make your mind or to get your mind to go off into another place so that you're not focused on this negative thoughts or this down moment. So yeah, reading is something that is near and dear to my heart. Um, if you're interested in books that I'm reading or have read already, you can check out the highlighted stories on my Instagram profile. I have a section there for books that I've read or read or books that I read or that I'm reading. And um, yeah, I also told you guys before that I follow Reese Witherspoon's um, book club on Instagram, Hello Sunshine. And I also follow Bell Bellatrix. Um, on Instagram as well and I'll leave those down in the description box if you're looking for a good recommendation. So tip number four is my final tip for practicing self-care and taking your mind off the stress and struggles of the trying to conceive journey. Tip number four is finding a hobby. Finding a hobby will help keep you busy so you're not just at home or you don't have a lot of idle time to focus on signs and symptoms or peeing on a stick or you know what's gonna happen next in the rest of my journey or getting lost in other people's stories on forums and stuff with all these different scenarios and stuff just find yourself a hobby if you already have a hobby just try to go a little bit deeper into your hobby. For me, this year I decided that I would start gardening and gardening has become a hobby of mine that I've fallen in love with. I've started a little window box garden and just watching all my flowers start to blossom is fulfilling. I enjoy planting. <laughs> I sound like a little old lady, but I actually enjoy planting my flowers and then watching them blossom and flourish. I just love it. I can't even like describe the amount of peace that I get when I'm working out in my yard and in my garden. It is the most peaceful thing to me and I recommend it. If you have a yard and you want to get into gardening, I, I recommend like going on Pinterest or looking up here on YouTube like tips for starting your garden. I also have gotten into having real plants in my home. I've tried it before and I used to kill them all the time. So I did some research and I found some plants that were easy to maintain that you could keep in the home. Um, so I picked a snake plant and I picked an aloe plant and I named them Georgia and Sophia. I've had them for about three months now and they both have grown a lot and yeah. It has kept me busy. It keeps my mind on other, it keeps my mind on something else other than trying to conceive. So, yeah, so that's it. Those are my four tips for self care while trying to conceive or staying sane while trying to conceive. Um, yeah, I hope you guys have found this video helpful. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up if you like to see more videos like this. I also like to mention that. Um, 
on my channel I will start to upload every Wednesday and Friday and on Fridays will be my fertility related videos and I will use the hashtag fertility Fridays where I'll update you guys on my journey and share with you guys more tips and ideas for trying to conceive if I have any so if you'd like to continue following my journey go ahead and click the subscribe button that you see on the screen I'd love to see you join my family and and yeah go ahead and also follow me on Instagram I post there in my Instagram stories all the time <laughs> I just did a lot of hair stuff on my Instagram because I just reached six years natural so I've been celebrating over on my Instagram but it's also a way for you to keep a real-time updates um, and is there anything else I'd like to mention no. so yeah thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye